couple of days now. It's very cold this morning, it's gone really autumnal. But uh, great to be back out in front after a long while away. Started off a bit quiet for me to be honest with you at the moment, but um, I expect that'll, uh, that'll change as we go through the week, it normally does. Been a few fish caught so far around and about, but the majority of the fish uh, seem to be getting caught from one side at lake. Been treated to seeing uh, an osprey on the bank, I've never seen one of them before. And uh, there's loads of kingfishers buzzing past, and loads of wildlife, koi pew. And uh, it's a beautiful place, it's so quiet, there's just absolutely no noise whatsoever. Started getting some liners late last night and hearing fish boshing out and just before 2 o'clock I opened my account on here with a fantastic £33 5 ounce common carp so that's my new personal best common absolutely delighted with that one it was an absolute beast did some plodding about and uh, gave me a good beating up on the bank but that's why you come to France and to a water like here to uh, experience fish of that quality. Felt I had to fish a little further out than what I had been doing with uh, the majority of my rods. So I put two rods uh, at quite a long distance, I'd waded out a fair way and then cast beyond a sort of weed bed that's running parallel to my swim and within an hour I'd had a 32 pound common right on the money um, really unusual fight, it just ploughed towards me and was shaking his head and it was a, a little bit nerve wracking but we got it in and uh, beautiful fish, I was really really pleased two 30 pound commons in the space of a few hours is not something that normally happens to me so I was really really pleased with that one About half past nine, I got my third fish of the session. 24 pound, 15 ounce mirror carp, real proper French built carp. Pleased about that. And uh, I lost another fish getting on for midnight. But you can you can see behind me how quiet it is. I think that's something we've picked up on as the week's gone on. Is you need to be quite stealthy. I think a lot of people started the week by spamming and spodding. And, the guys that have done the best are the, the two Dutch guys who've had a bait boat and that's been the stealthiest approach. So we've um, we've waded out a lot quieter this time and just tried to keep disturbance to a minimum and it seems to be paying off, especially last night. So uh, we've tried the same again today and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. I think what we've found this week is um, that a 20 mil bottom bait tipped off with a tiger nut has been doing the uh, the business. I think in fact all, all the fish have come to that approach with um, a scattering of boilies with the throwing stick. We have tried big bed to bait but whether or not it's a, it's a popular method and successful method normally it just that doesn't seem to have worked for us. So we've been really fishing for a, a bite at a time and gone along through the week and it's, it seems to be picking up the fish.
it's just been such a fantastic week to come and relax in really peaceful surroundings. It's the quietest place I've ever fished anywhere. Um, but it's just been a, a really, really nice week. And Frank, the bailiff, is, is absolutely superb. He'll really look after you, get you on the spots, and uh, nothing's too much trouble. The facilities have been great, the shower block and, uh, and whatnot have just been first rate. So if you fancy a week out in France, you want a few big fish, and you want somewhere to come and relax and enjoy the peace and tranquility, then Brockard's definitely a place for you. So uh, get yourself on the Angling Lines website, check it out and uh, get yourself a week booked over in France.